Hi everyone, I'm just going to quickly show you um, how to add a triangular um, load or a um, increasing distributed load. So we had this distributed load put here uh, from previous video. So it was simply showing the the overall component of five minus five thousand newtons over this one meter beam. If we wanted to change that, we could go to advanced, instead of total load, we've got a few options there. What we can also do is we can change this to a function of coordinates. So as um, x is increasing along this um, x axis, we could have this load increasing at a rate of whatever we choose. So we go into here, I'll just remove whatever was here previous. Um, so we can come in here and um, on the world coordinate system, we can, which is this one, we can put in an expression like six times x. So I've got six uh, star x. And so it's gonna start from zero and then every uh, millimeter, it's gonna be adding six newtons. So that will be increasing over the meter and so by the end there 1000 millimeters it'll be 6000 newtons at the end there so that'll be the um, how that's increasing uh, and then here we have a scalar so we can have that increasing in the um, in the positive so it's the loads increasing up we could make the scalar a negative one to um, be increasingly increasing in the negative as such and so that's how we put on a triangular load um, some people have trouble if they want to start with a higher load on this end and run back um, you can manipulate that with your function so we go into function and edit and we can use negatives in here so we might start at 6000 minus 6x and that would give us the um, the reverse. So I'll show you how to do that. Here we go 6,000 minus 6x. Okay. And then you preview that. So you can see you got the 6,000 minus, and it goes back to zero. And we can then, we can change the scalar to um, change that one. Um, some people find it hard to work that out so what you can do is add a coordinate system down this end pointing the X back so and then up in here in this coordinate system we could go selected and select this coordinate system as that X increases this way we can have it coming back up so there's two ways to get around that if you're having uh, some trouble with it okay I hope that helps see you later